And welcome to my playhouse. And today we're in the data center because I have this awesome Lenovo X3650 Model 5. I'm getting so good at saying that. And I've been expanding it. And that we are also gonna be doing today. There's room for eight drives in this server as it is right now. But there is actually room to expand with another eight drives right here. But there's no backplane. So, um, yeah, we're gonna be putting that in. That just arrived. So let's see that. Okay, so that came in today. Um, I um, have to thank my Patreons for this. I have been using Patreon money to get this. This is rather expensive. So this was about $180 to expand this server from, uh, well, eight drives to 16 drives and um, yeah this is what you get this is a it's a backplane and it's a SAS expander and it's a good one so this one is oh do we have any numbers it's a 12 gigabit per second SAS expander um, which means that you can put in the eight drives here but it doesn't need another rate controller it takes the rate controller that is already in here and we put those in some of the connections I haven't actually looked up on that yet which one they go into they could have written that that would have been awesome um, but you put it into it and then you let it go over to the next backplane but let's um, let's open up the server and see this a little better so I have removed all the cables I thought hmm. One of them had gotten in the way. So now all the cables are removed. So let's see what we have here. They actually explain it on the top of the server here. So let's see that before we take the lid off. There are different ways of doing this. You can get a very simple backplane, which uh, means that you need another dedicated rate controller or HBA. You can also use that. And they will just go out to each uh, backplane. Then you have another option, which is the one that we're going to be doing uh, right now. We have a dedicated rate controller that goes into one of the... Well, it goes into that one, the new one. And then it goes on to the more simple backplane. And that way we're only using that one rate controller. And we have a SAS expander and we have the ordinary um, backplane. Then we have another solution. Well, this is when you want to go up to 24 drives. The first one is that you have three rate controllers. Just do it like that. Next 24 drive is that you have two rate controllers. You have two ordinary backplanes and you have one expander backplane. And then you have the last option where you have one rate controller that goes up to a SAS expander that moves over to a SAS expander and then that moves over to a regular ordinary backplane. These SAS expanders are quite expensive so um, I, I can fully understand this one if um, if you got a really good deal on HPAs or if you're going to be using some kind of a software storage solution well this might work just fine uh, HPAs are normally way cheaper than these SAS expanders so that might be a good way to go it does take a lot more PCI Express ports back in the server, but if you have enough, well, no problem. There is another issue then. If you're actually gonna be using a rate controller, in this solution, you will have the limitation that you can't use all the drives in one big RAID, or they can't really go across from one rate controller to another rate controller. This can be a upside and it can be a downside you get awesome performance because each of these uh, most likely very expensive rate controllers they are only handling eight drives but then again if um, this is a storage server and and the amount of data is more important than the speed that you're getting well you might not want this you might just want everything in one big chunk so that you don't have uh, too much redundancy because each of these rate controllers We'll need to make a RAID 5 or RAID 6 out here. And if you could put everything in one basket, well, you could maybe have a RAID 6 with a hot spare and you would have saved some disks and be able to um, 
make a bigger volume. So, but let's get moving. And here we are. Open sesame. So cool. We're going to be working down here today. So awesome. We have the normal ordinary back plane here, which is still good. We're going to be using that. Then we have some power connectors here for, um, well, we have the option of putting in two more back planes. Um, but we're going to be taking this one out and moving it over here, I believe. I need to check. And we can kind of see that on the LED that uh, this solution, we need to go into the to the SAS expander first and then move over to the ordinary backplane. This is important because of the numbering of the drives. Uh, yeah, and I want them um, number one, two, three to start where they are right now. Maybe, okay, maybe, maybe we are actually good. Maybe I don't have to move it. Okay, I see that the rate controller goes into the SAS expander and the SAS expander goes over to this one and the discs on the SAS expander well they continue where this left off so from number seven we go over to number eight so i don't have to move anything i can just put the SAS expander in where um, where the next available slot is that is cool so the very simple uh, backplane is this one it has um, two connections which comes from the rate controller and then it has a power connector that goes down to the system board so that uh, it gets some power. Um, so we're going to be taking these out and uh, we're going to be putting them over here. And together with this set that I got, uh, there are some shorter cables here. And they will be able to fit between those two and um, continue that. Just notice the quality of these PCBs. They didn't use some thin flimsy stuff here. This is really thick PCBs. I think they're twice as thick as normal. So it goes in this way, um, I believe. It uh, kind of fits in a slot here in the bottom. And then there are some spikes that we need to, to fit at the top. And, and these thingies are the ones that hold it into place. So it's just, click mounted so yeah as soon as there's a drive in there I'm sure it's gonna be just as steady as this one over here so cool so we can move the connections from there and over there and they have of course told me nothing about how to do that um, so I have to go back to the LED and find out so from the rig controller we go up into the SAS expander and we have to go into the ports uh, where that power connector is just on top of that and number one is um, over there and number zero is out to uh, okay I think we can do that so over here we need the first cable cable number zero from the rate controller and that's of course the cable that goes into the four first drives so that would be that one uh, come on Yes. Now this cable is um, more than long enough, so that's the one that needs to go in here, right there. Oh, it also has a zero on the cable here, so that's helpful. Can you see that? They kind of have a zero down there. So except the cable being well, long enough plus a little, and that's all good. So let's take this one out. This is then uh, let's see that has a one, so it adds up. Cool. Put that on right next to the other one. There, one is added. The extra cable. There is room in here. So we're gonna pop that in into the media bay which doesn't have any media so that's good then we can use these cables which um, are also has a zero and a one so that that adds up as well so and over here this connector which is furthest out that's zero here 
so we'll put that in number zero there and that has to go over to port zero over here easy PC we'll put that in there and we have the other one that of course goes in the other connector I think that fits best this way there so now everything is connected trying to keep them out of the fan blowers uh, don't want that to be interfered so now the SAS connections are connected so I bought this used and um, yeah I uh, tweeted out this on Twitter that uh, this was in and someone uh, noticed that it had a Model X connector here and that's not normal and if you see here the wires has been cut down there and then someone has put on this Model X connector and I have no idea how that will work I don't know it doesn't look like they have actually measured the connections and this would be right but I don't know I hope it still works um, otherwise I will be complaining this is well it's it's a weird setup you know so um but yeah I, I expect that it might have enough connections this is just a power connector it brings power from the motherboard and up to the to the SAS expander I would guess that the black ones was maybe negative and the gray ones was positive but that's only a guess um, and there is enough cables to to do that I'm sure so yeah we're gonna put that in um, number two there's so these power connectors down here are pretty well hidden by the SAS cables now so if this is any good I might I might want to try and measure what voltage is there uh, so let's let's pop it in this way I have this one on the system board and then this one popping up here so I could actually measure which voltage are on that connector sometime so and maybe don't short circuit it on the but don't expect that and I don't know if it's gonna work yet I'm hoping let's cross our fingers and hope that this is gonna work that's about it we have expanded it hopefully from 8 to 16 drives and um, I'm gonna put the cover back on so I have power on the server again um, now there's a backplane in here which is of course awesome but I haven't purchased enough trays yet I have actually purchased some that are well they're coming in from China it might take a while so um, I need more trays to go in here to be able to expand further um, to go over here but we can just make sure that everything seems good it uh, detected some kind of a drive there so that's probably good and we could kind of also power up the system and see if it boots because now we're going from that backplane and over to that backplane so if it doesn't detect the drives over here we are probably in trouble but I'm expecting another month or so before these extra I just purchased empty trays and then I'm gonna be putting in some hard drives and they were cheap they were less than five dollars a piece uh, and I ordered ten of them only need nine but well you need an extra don't you so let's power it up you know, we're initializing okay um it's uh, gonna take a while be right back ew that's not a great message it uh, it is not seeing the drives so that is rather unfortunate so um, I should power it off and check everything I'll do that okay I have had all the connections off and put them all back on again so oh I hope this works oh dear it's the same thing all the cables has been out been put in again and it didn't help anything 
I'm guessing it, it might be that cable that is cut. Might be. Um, I'm gonna go and have a chat with this Chinese salesperson who um, shipped this. Um, and I might just purchase a cable for it at the same time. I did actually when I was checking it out because that Mod -like connector is not normal. And I saw that cables are available for about six dollars, but well, I might not tell that Chinese salesperson that right away. So um, <sighs> that's one of these videos where it just doesn't work right away. Yeah, that's how it goes when you buy used equipment and trying to do something on the cheap. And I have checked if I should be so lucky to have a cable from an M4, but they're not compatible. They changed it. That's how it goes. Thank you very much to my patrons for sponsoring this device that didn't work. Not your fault. Probably not my fault either. Let's find someone to blame, shall we? Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a nice day. Bye bye.